Are you living with diabetes and paying enough attention to your limb health? Many people don't know, but diabetes can lead to amputation in extreme cases. In fact, thousands of individuals in the United States face diabetes-related amputations annually. Many of these amputations might be preventable if people recognize the quiet early warnings. Today, we are going to uncover seven critical diabetes amputation warning signs. Paying attention to these could be a crucial step in protecting your limbs. 1. Persistent Coldness Persistent coldness in one or both feet is a significant yet often overlooked warning sign of potential amputation risk for individuals with diabetes. This isn't merely a fleeting sensation of chilliness. It's a noticeable and ongoing temperature difference, even in warm environments or while wearing socks. This symptom frequently signals poor circulation, a serious diabetes complication known as peripheral artery disease, or PADI. PADI occurs when plaque buildup narrows the blood vessels in the legs and feet restricting the flow of vital oxygen-rich blood. This blood flow is essential for keeping feet warm, nourishing tissues, and fighting infections. Consequently, a compromised blood supply can cause a noticeable drop in skin temperature. Individuals with diabetes face a significantly higher risk, up to four times greater, of developing PEED. Ignoring such persistent coldness is dangerous. Simple diagnostic tests, such as an ankle brachial index, ABI, can effectively assess blood flow to your feet. Early detection of PAD is key, as it allows for timely interventions to improve circulation and substantially lower the risk of amputation. 2. Slow healing sores or wounds One of the most known yet critical diabetes amputation warning signs is any sore cut blister or wound on your foot that heals slowly. For a non-diabetic, a minor foot injury usually heals in a week or two. For diabetics, the healing process can be significantly impaired. High blood sugar stiffens blood vessels and narrows arteries, reducing blood flow to extremities. Poor circulation means oxygen and nutrients needed for tissue repair do not reach the wound effectively. Elevated glucose also impairs immune cell function, hindering the body's ability to fight infection. Diabetic neuropathy causing sensation loss contributes because one might not be aware of an injury or continue pressing on it, delaying healing. A wound open for over a few weeks risks becoming infected. An infected diabetic foot ulcer is very serious. Infections can spread from skin to deeper tissues and bone osteomyelitis. Diabetic foot ulcers precede around 85% of diabetes-related lower limb amputations. If a sore is not healing, looks red, swollen, oozes pus, or has a bad odor, these are urgent infection signs. Do not self-treat a non-healing wound. Seek immediate medical care. Your doctor can assess the wound, check for infection and blood flow, and prescribe treatment including antibiotics, dressings, or debridement. Vigilant foot care and prompt attention to any skin break are essential. 3. Changes in skin color. Significant skin color changes on your feet or legs are critical diabetes amputation warning signs requiring immediate attention. Healthy feet usually match your body's skin tone. However, impaired circulation from peripheral artery disease pad or nerve damage neuropathy can alter skin color dramatically. Feet might look unusually pale or even bluish or purplish. This bluish color cyanosis signals a severe oxygen shortage in tissues. Conversely, skin might appear bright red and feel warm, indicating infection or Charcot foot, a condition where bones weaken. Darkening skin in patches or streaks can also occur suggesting tissue damage or early gangrene tissue death. Diabetic foot ulcers precede about 85% of non-traumatic lower limb amputations, and skin color changes can be an early warning of ulcers or infection. If feet become pale when elevated, then turn reddish or purplish. When lowered, this is dependent ruber, a strong pad indicator. Any new or worsening discoloration needs an urgent healthcare provider visit. Early diagnosis and treatment of the cause, whether poor circulation infection or Charcot foot, are vital to prevent progression to severe outcomes, including amputation. Regularly inspecting feet for color changes is a simple, powerful habit. 4. Numbness or tingling. Persistent numbness tingling or a burning sensation in your feet or toes is a common yet very serious warning sign for diabetes indicating diabetic neuropathy. This condition arises from prolonged high blood sugar damaging nerves primarily in feet and legs first. Up to 50% of people with diabetes may develop neuropathy. Some experience painful neuropathy while others lose sensation entirely. This loss of feeling is particularly dangerous because you might not detect minor injuries like cuts, 
blisters, or pressure sores. A small pebble in your shoe or a bad shoe fit could cause significant damage without your awareness. These unnoticed injuries can easily infect, especially with poor blood sugar control and compromised circulation. A small infection can escalate rapidly, leading to non-healing ulcers, deep tissue damage, and potential amputation. If that ulcer infects and cannot heal, amputation might be the only recourse. Therefore, report any new or worsening numbness tingling or pins and needles sensation to your doctor. They can assess nerve function and help develop foot protection strategies like daily inspections, proper footwear, and blood sugar management. Never assume numbness is a minor issue. It is a major risk factor. 5. Swelling in feet or ankles. Unexplained swelling in feet or ankles. Edema can be a significant diabetes amputation warning sign. While some swelling has benign causes like prolonged standing or heat, persistent swelling in diabetics should never be ignored. This swelling can indicate several underlying problems. It might signal poor circulation or peripheral artery disease pad, where fluid accumulates as blood isn't efficiently returned. Swelling can also link to heart problems more common in diabetics. If the heart pumps weakly, fluid can build in legs and feet. Kidney disease, a frequent diabetes complication, also causes fluid retention. Critically for amputation risk, swelling can mask or contribute to foot injuries. Swollen tissues are fragile and prone to breakdown. With neuropathy, you might not feel an injury from increased pressure and skin stretching due to swelling. Swelling can also make shoes fit badly causing new pressure sores. A foot infection can cause localized swelling, redness, and warmth. If infection takes hold and is not treated promptly, it can spread quickly in a diabetic foot, especially with poor blood flow and sensation. A significant number of diabetic foot ulcers are complicated by infection, dramatically raising amputation risk. If you notice new or worsening swelling, consult your healthcare provider to find the cause. Managing the underlying condition is key to reducing swelling and protecting your feet. 6. Unexplained hair loss. Unexplained hair loss on toes, feet, and lower legs is another subtle diabetes amputation warning sign. Many might dismiss this as aging or cosmetic, but for diabetics, it can indicate compromised circulation. Like coldness, hair loss. Hair often signals peripheral artery disease pad. Hair follicles need ample oxygen and nutrients from blood for hair growth. Restricted blood flow from narrowed arteries. Starves follicles slowing or stopping hair growth. Skin on lower legs and feet might also look shiny and smooth due to reduced blood supply and hair loss. While some hair thinning is natural, significant or patchy loss, especially if uneven, needs medical attention. PAD is common in diabetic populations affecting many, often silently, until severe symptoms arise. Some studies suggest over 20% of diabetics experience pad symptoms, though many are undiagnosed. If hair on your lower extremities disappears or thins noticeably, tell your doctor. It is a visible clue of circulatory struggles. Early pad treatment via lifestyle changes, medication or procedures can restore blood flow, protect tissues and reduce risks of infection, ulcers and amputation. Monitoring these minor changes is proactive diabetes care. 7. Pain or cramping in legs during activity. Pain, cramping, or tiredness in legs, specifically calves, thighs, or buttocks during activity like walking that subsides with rest, is a classic peripheral artery disease pad symptom and a serious diabetes amputation warning sign. This is intermittent claudication. Pain arises because narrowed arteries cannot deliver enough oxygen-rich blood to working muscles. At rest, muscles need less oxygen, and pain typically vanishes. Many mistake this for aging or arthritis, but it is a direct sign of insufficient blood flow. PAD is a major risk factor for non-healing foot ulcers and amputations in diabetics. The same process causing claudication also restricts foot blood flow. So, if a foot sore develops, it struggles to heal properly increasing infection and gangrene risk. Studies show diabetics with PAD have significantly higher amputation risk, perhaps five to 10 times greater than diabetics without PAD. If you experience this leg pain, see your doctor. Ignoring claudication lets pad progress, possibly leading to rest pain, critical limb ischemia, and amputation. Your doctor can diagnose pad via examination and tests like the ankle brachial index. Treatments include supervised exercise medication or procedures to open arteries. Recognizing and addressing claudication early improves quality of life and helps prevent amputation.
Learning about these seven diabetes amputation warning signs from subtle coldness and hair loss to more overt issues like non-healing sores is a key step in proactive health management. You might also want to watch this video on managing diabetic neuropathy. Please subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.